So the green light goes on. Wyman over on the left-hand side. A very, very strong start, as always, by the Italian champion. Eva Lechner goes right up the middle of the road, or slightly uphill here. And then there is a right-hander, very, very tight right-hander onto the mud. And Sana Kant wants to get through that corner first and is really putting the power on. Thalita de Jong is also there. A few riders getting a little bit confused, I think, by... There's a little gap in the barriers on the right-hand side. But Sana Kant is first through the corner onto the mud. So, the head of the race happening already. And uh, Sana Kant staying very, very close to the front. It is Sophie de Boer. Not surprisingly, who's right up there at the front. She likes to go out and lead early. Two riders all. A problem there for Ellen Van Looy. Shaking her head. She's come down a little bit of a tumble. And uh, also in a little bit of trouble too was Caroline Marnie. So they went round the corner. There we go. One rider hitting the barriers. De Boer looks super motivated this afternoon. Sana Kant crosses the line at 27. She seems to be losing just a little bit in that muddy, really muddy section. There's Eva Lechner. She's taken her shades off, uh, holding them in her hand. She'll give them, I'm sure, to her, her pit crew. There's Caroline Marnie with the pink and yellow handlebar tape on. Christine Majerus also up there. De Jong now overtakes Nikki Harris. This will be a big, big performance for Thalita De Jong. Now onto this uh, sliding little section that so far Nikki Harris has been uh, one of the better riders at. Just letting the tyres slide and slip all the way through these little channels that have been created. Harris decides she doesn't want to follow Thalita De Jong through there. In front of her home crowd, she lives just along the road, literally three kilometers from this course as they hit the steps. <laughs> Sophie de Boer, though, is sprinting her way up the final climb of the day to all the local fans banging the boards. It's going to be a win for the Netherlands here in uh, this magnificent course in Olga Haida, Sophie de Boer wins a World Cup. She crosses the line, ecstatic with that finish. What a fantastic finish by Sophie de Boer. Her last lap was the fastest, 9.58. Thalita de Jong now uses her road speed to attack Nikki Harris. And de Jong is also now going to finish on the podium for the first time. Harris trying to come back at her. She's also got a sprint. Remember, Nikki Harris started her career on the track, but De Jong is motivated by her home crowd. She's going to finish on the podium in front of all her local fans, and Nikki Harris yet again finishes on the podium of a World Cup. Caroline Marnie is going to finish fourth, and that's going to tell us something about the possibilities for the world. Sanakant wins the World Cup in fifth place. Uh, it's indescribable. I'm really happy that I could win today. Last week I already felt really strong, but um, today uh, the course, yeah, it was uh, a course I really like. It was heavy, uh, it's a bit slow course with a lot of mud, and I felt really great. So it's incredible to win today. You were leading from start till finish, eh? Yeah, I, c I couldn't believe it. I had a really good start and then um, I immediately saw I had a, a little gap. But then I thought I don't want to um, well start too fast. So uh, the first lap I wasn't riding full uh, 100%. But then I saw I, yeah, after the first lap I still had a gap. So I thought now I just have to give it all and uh, I could uh, what is it, extend the gap. So um, yeah. For Sophie de Boer. Daar staan de dames op het podium. Die hebben uiteraard voor elkaar de visstas. En hebben wij in de ogenheid. Dat betekent voor Sophie de Boer. Third overall, though, in the World Cup for Great Britain is the British champion, Nikki Harris. The Italian champion is in second place, Eva Lechner. But the winner. The Belgian rider, Sana Kant, the European champion, is the World Cup winner for the second year running.